Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Sorry it's a little bit later. This will be coming out probably for surely on Friday the 3rd, probably about 9 a.m., 8 or 9 a.m., something like that. It is currently 12.51. As you can see, pretty tired. But yeah, here we are. On that grind. You know guys, you know how it is. Thank you everybody for the support. You guys have been absolutely incredible. I, I feel like I say it every time, but it's just something I have to point out. Because without this, without you guys, none of this is is possible. So thank you guys so much for that. So again, on my on the back on the picks for uh, UFC 301. Not an incredible card, but definitely a good card. Um, I, I think there's some ordering that they could do a little bit better. That Maybe that's just me nitpicking or whatever, but you got to pay $8 for it. I feel like you need to nitpick. Um, so starting with the first one that I have, is the car close higher than one and a half takedowns? I definitely think he can get two takedowns, especially if you look at the... Uh, stats on UFC stat uh, UFC 301 stats on the UFC.com uh, uh, let's see Jakar close Joaquin Silva takedown defense is 64% for Joaquin Silva uh, takedowns average for Jakar close is 1.78 almost two over one and a half so I like one and a half for Jakar close um, da, 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 da. yeah I, I like uh, one and a half takedowns for Jakar Close. Next is Jasmine Lacerdo versus with uh, two higher than two takedowns. Again, something I really, really like in that fight. You, you take a look over in the matchup area. Uh, takedown accuracy is 66 for Lasman. Uh, wait, yeah, Lasman. I feel like it's uh, Jasmine, but it's Lasman. 74 takedown defense for uh, Carolina, but Lasman's going to be a whole lot faster than her and she gets 2.33 takedowns uh per fight so i like that a lot that's a very very good one next is kyle borello 36 and a half significant strider strikes higher than that i think he definitely can get 37 significant strikes especially if he gets to the ground i think on the ground is where he's going to get a lot of those significant strikes i like kyle borello a lot on on that specifically and then next is Vitor, Vitor, Vitor Petrino. Two higher than two takedowns. I like that a lot. I think Vitor Petrino is going to be faster, stronger, again more powerful than Anthony Smith. Uh, I can't believe he's the third fight on this pay per view. Kind of ridiculous. Takedown defense for Anthony Smith is forty eight. Takedown accuracy for Smith is twenty six to sixty eight to seventy one to three point eight six for Vitor Petrino. Basically, even if Victor gets a finish. He definitely could get higher than two takedowns. So I like that a lot. And my last one uh, is uh, Alexander Pantoja. Two and a half takedowns higher. I think he definitely can get three takedowns. Again, as we've seen with him in his fights, he's very good at getting the back. Uh, and those count as takedowns. So I take down accuracy 48 to 30 uh three uh sorry 67 percent takedown defense to 77 he's only had a few fights has steve ursig 2.2 takedowns per 15 minutes i like a lot i like pantoja takedown takedowns a lot so that one's good not a crazy multiplayer you're gonna have to put in quite uh you know quite a bit it's at only times two unless you flex which is a 10 times or two and a half times so you're gonna have to put a little bit more into it just because those i think are just decent bets um like i said if you put like 20 you get 400 so there's there's some good ones to do you want to cut it in half ten dollars 200 if you get all five correct or you can do the flex where you get five correct still get a hundred just if you don't trust one of them but you want to do the bet still four correct pays up to 25 dollars so again those are some good ones i personally think on also, if you want to be a little bit risky, uh, let's take a look. Yeah, you guys want to be a little bit risky, let's be a little bit risky. So, go to the top steep Ursay finish by knockout, which I don't necessarily think could happen, but a submission, 
Pantoja's good with his submissions. So it's not on it's not out of the possibility, out of the realm of possibility. Jose Aldo only has three options, not a finish, knockouts, or submission. I don't think he submits them. I would be surprised if he was able to finish him, but a finish itself is three point three and a half. Submission is crazy high, which should be. Knockout four. I don't really know if uh, a knockout for that fight is, is great. I do think Josie's going to have better boxing. He is going to be faster. But that one's a little bit of a trickier one to pick. So, Vitor Petrino, uh, let's see, uh, da, 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 higher one, a, a good multiplayer is a submission. I don't think he necessarily submits, uh, submits to Anthony Smith, though it is pretty high. That one doesn't pay all that well. Michelle Pereira, submission on Potier is plus or two. Yeah, plus 2.25. You go finish is 0.7. So nothing really great there besides the submission. If you think you can get a submission, then it's good, you know. But probably not necessarily that one. Um... You do Joy Anderson Brito get a finish on Jack Shore, which he's fast enough and explosive enough to get a finish. But if you think you can get a submission, which is 2.2 and a half, I don't necessarily think it's a submission. But you could also just do the finish, which is 1.2. So that's a pretty good multiplayer as as is. Lasman, again, to get a finish or a submission or a knockout. Submission is 2.5. Knockout is 2.25. Finish is just 1.25. I do think she could get a submission, but if you think she can finish her inside the distance, that's a good one. Uh, let's see. Let's do 14.99 fight time minutes, which is good. I'm gonna do lower, which again, very good. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, there's that. Now let's do Elvis Brenner. If you think he can get a knockout, six and a half. Cool. Finish, two and a half. I think I like the finish better. But again, there's some really good ones. If you think he can get a knockout, cool. If you think uh, or Orabai can get a submission, which I find highly unlikely, uh, 2.75, which obviously is very good. I'm going to go Brenner by finish, which is two and a half. I like that a lot. And then one more if you think uh gene silva can find that knockout and you want to play that uh then you can do that let's make oh jamie malarkey is fighting so let's see dion uh, ismail bonfim if mm, i don't necessarily think i like those costa if you think mm, if you think Costa can get a knockout or submission, that is four to two. Uh, finish, it is one and a half. Some definitely some interesting ones here because Borges gets tired later in the fights, but so does Costa. And I do think Kevin Borges will be faster early, but I like Costa. I like his power, and I think I I, I think he can get a finish, and that is one and a half. So that is five. That is all we can do for those picks but you put 10 bucks you went you get all five correct that's a thousand you get five correct that's 500 four correct with the you know you, uh it's a um what's that called uh security thing you do you put five in you miss one but you get four right you still get paid uh, i can't think of what it's freaking called now of course you still win 281.2 not bad at all for ten dollars so those are some really good bets. I hope that helps you guys so much. Uh, I would assume FanDuel isn't working because it it just doesn't. That's how that goes. They wait until it's the freaking last second as if we don't have shit we got to do, you know. Okay, let's look real quick. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, so those are some pretty good bets that I, I personally do like. Let's see. Yeah, UFC, okay. Paul Craig, Petrino. Okay, so these are some good ones too. UFC popular parlay props. Paul, Paul Craig, Kyle Barello, do I think the fight goes the distance? No. Smith versus Petrino, do I think the fight goes the distance? No. Martinez versus Aldo, do I think the fight goes the distance? Yes. Alexander Pantoja versus Steve Ursay. Do I think the fight goes the distance? 
I definitely think it could. Most likely it does. I think three to two. I like that a lot. That's plus 587 for that. You put 10 bucks, you win 58 bucks. Not bad at all. If you want to be a little bit more risky, okay. No, sure. Let's be a little bit more risky. Let's take. Actually, they got him up now, which is kind of crazy. Do I think the Costa uh, versus Kevin Borez fight will go the distance? I definitely don't think that fight goes the distance. Let's. Just... Let's just go. Let's let's go up. Let's let's look at this. Oh my goodness! Oh, da, da, da. Kevin Morris, Ben Bonfim, uh, Pichel. Do I think the fight goes the distance? No. Um, Dion uh, Barboza. Do I think fight that fight goes the distance? Ernesta. Yes, I do. Uh, let's do, oh yeah, Ruffy versus Malarkey. Do I think that fight goes the distance? Not a freaking chance. Or actually, you know what? Uh, how does the fight end? By knockout. Is there a possibility I can do? Uh, oh, it doesn't want to tell me what round that'll be. Oh, wait, total round. Under one and a half is plus, one to, is plus 120. Minus 175 isn't bad. So let's just do that real quick. Drakkar close versus uh, Joaquin Silva. Does, does the fight go the distance? I don't think so. Um, how is what's this? Basically, a pick him over two and a half. Wow. So is there a finish late? Late in the third. I'm gonna say under. I don't think that fight goes the distance. I'm going to say under. It's better odds at minus 112. I like that. And then Elvis Brenner or by will the fight go the distance? I don't think so. They currently have it as favored at minus 106. I, I'm sure, I guess. Uh, total rounds is under 2.5 plus 120. So they think the fight will go, go to a decision. Plus 115, plus 270, plus 230. Uh, double chance. Let's see. Decision. No bet. Okay. So, yeah, I I, I like this fight to go to on points. Orbai's not really been tested. Euros is not a good test. Uh, Elvis Brenner being on the street that he is at, he's gonna be going right at him. He's good on the ground. Under two and a half. I'm gonna go under two and a half. I like those odds a lot. Um, and then Carolina Kovalkiewicz versus Lasman. Lasman. Yeah, Lasman Nasurdo. I was getting confused there for a second. It's been a long day. Do I think the fight goes the distance? They're saying it does go the distance at minus 176. Uh, how the fight will end? They're saying points minus 175. I definitely think there could be a. Let's see. Lasman by. Oh, let's see. Submission or on points is minus 190 for Lasman. I'm going to say KO or uh, TKO slash submission plus 160. You got to risk it sometimes. And again, this is a giant parlay. So take it how you want to. You can do a couple of them. You don't have to do all of them. Uh, but if I go the distance with Brito and Shore, minus 196 saying no. Yes is actually a, a, a underdog, which kind of surprised a little bit. Uh, plus 145, plus 185, plus 190. So points is kind of where they're leaning to. Interesting. Decision no bet. Let's see. Total rounds. Ooh, over one and a half is minus 182. Under one and a half is plus 144. I like the over on that one. I'm going to go over. Again, these odds are going to seem crazy because, again, it's a giant par lay. Uh, Paul Craig, Kai, Kai Barello, with a fight goes the distance at a minus 215. No total rounds. Uh, one and a half minus 210. Under one and a half is plus 162. Uh, Kai Barello is a bit of a... Uh, doesn't really risk or can necessarily go for the finish unless he can sense it. You know, he doesn't risk it, I would say. So over is, is fine. How the fight will end. Ooh. Ooh. 
That's this is a tough one. <sighs> over, I'm gonna say over at minus two ten, personally. And then next is Pereira, uh, Eor Potiero. What if I go the distance at minus five fifty? No, how the fight will end? They're saying KO. Uh, da, 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 total, or yeah, total rounds two thirty. Mark of each round is a half of a round. Okay, plus 126 to minus 160 under. I'm actually going to take the over on this one. I'm going to be honest. I like the over. I don't think it's going to be by much, and that might not be a great one. Um, let's see, double chance. Michelle Pereira, KO or submission. KO or on points. Submission or on points. I don't think it's going to be points. I think that's kind of craziness. A finish is minus 230. So kind of the where you can get money on this one is betting the under or the over at plus 126 or just KO if you think that's what happens. So I like that one. Um, let's see. Smith versus Patrino. I don't think I got that one. Nope. Okay. Will the fight go the distance? No. It says my, minus 210 total rounds. One and a half to under one and a half. I definitely think over. Uh, let's see. Decision how the fight will end. They're saying KO. Okay, sure. Uh, Petrino KO or TKO. Uh, rounds one or two is plus 185. Two or three is plus 260. Um, round times. I'm betting. Alternate. Okay, so Petrino. Rounds one or two is plus 125. Um, what's, uh, what, what round will the fight end? They're leaning towards the first. Yeah, there's not really money on the money line for Petrino. So I, I definitely like, uh, Petrino to win in rounds one or two. That's very, very good. I think. And then Aldo Martinez, well, if I go the distance, plus 168, no. Yes is minus 225. Total rounds, two and a half. I don't think this fight is a five-round fight. Well, it is. So there's under is plus 190. Okay. How the fight will end. They're saying points. I'm going to go, let, oh, crap. Let's get that out of there. Time, no. Round over. Is minus 260, under is uh, two and a half, or plus 190. My goodness. Jose Aldo, round three, or by decision. I like Jose Aldo by decision, or a round three finish. Or, or do I like Jose to win in the first two rounds? Because if he's going to win, I think it's going to be later. I mean, earlier is what I meant. Which is plus eight. Hundred. They actually have Jonathan Martinez round three or by submissions plus 115. And then for Jose is plus 170 for the same exact thing. I'm going to take a shot here and I'm going to say Jose Aldo round one or two. Maybe that's a bit of a shot in the dark, but I like that one. All right. That's a bit of a, a risky one I meant. Um, Next... How the fight will end? Will it go to a uh, decision? No is a minus 152. Yes is a plus 120. Uh, total rounds, three and a half. So you think it will finish it at the midway point of the third, fourth, or fifth. So, okay. Under is uh, plus 114. If you're picking under, you like Pant uh, Pantoja, I would assume. Uh, let's see. Um, other rounds... Right here, Alexander Pantoja rounds one, two, or three plus two fifty. I like that. What well, round will the fight end? Yeah. So again, these odds are going to be so you can crazy mix and match them the way you want them. But I think those are some good ones, especially the first four or first five. I mean, um, I, I really, really like those. Again, as a thirteen leg parlay, it's going to seem a little crazy just because it's a giant parlay. Mix them, match them, separate them if you want to. But those are my picks. About a 20-minute video. It, one 
11 in the morning. I'm going to go lay on the couch and try to go to sleep. We'll see if that happens. But as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know what you guys are thinking. I'll see you at the next one. Peace.